In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys business essentials for an online clothing business. Now, I want to first preface this by saying that this is not actually specifically catered to just clothing brands, despite the title <laughs> and what I've just said. Almost everything I speak on in this video can be translated and used as part of probably any sort of online business. So let's get into it. But before we do, guys, please make sure we are hitting that subscribe button. The button is just here. And also, so please smash that like button if you like this kind of content this helps me get these sorts of videos out to more people just like you that need you know a little bit of guidance when it comes to growing and starting their business so small business essentials the first couple of essentials that i'm going to talk about are things that are actually sort of like non-tangible so the first thing is a shopify website now i use shopify to host my clothing brand website and i feel like i managed to build quite a nice luxury website if i do say so myself i will have shopify linked in the description so you can click it trial it out see if it's for you it should definitely be for you because it is a great platform for hosting your website in terms of like the back end and how everything kind of sort of operates and flows together and also it's a great website in terms of just how your website then appears to your potential customers the next business essential that i feel like you will need is bookkeeping support so i use quickbooks for my bookkeeping and that is both for my actual business so Shiva Shiva and then also my personal brand so that's Tally G. I keep those finances completely different. Shiva Shiva is registered as a limited company and Tally G is just um, self sole trader so um, self-employed and I submit my accounts that way but I use QuickBook quick books <laughs> quick book quick books for my bookkeeping for both businesses Teddy g is a business in itself you would need social media i feel like this one is obvious so things like facebook maybe <laughs> definitely instagram tiktok absolutely because that's big especially for small businesses pinterest i love a bit of pinterest so definitely consider having that for your business and youtube you can kind of sort of like document your journey like i am or just you know post i don't know fashion shows if you're a clothing business or packing videos i don't know i guess maybe whatever you would post on tiktok you can post on youtube because you can use like their youtube shorts so definitely consider exploring all of the social medias and see what works best for you and works best for for your business you will need an email account guys it's 2023 i don't want to see shiva shiva apparel <laughs> at yahoo.com let's try and get our own domains and get our emails looking right we want to see hello at shiva shiva.com nowadays so for a business domain you can use google i use google to host my domain that's a domain that i use on all of my websites so my taddy g website as well as my my Shiva Shiva website. You can also host your email through Google. So if you use Google Mail as your email anyway, it will all look the same. So those are all my non-tangible business essentials, which I feel like would probably relate to most online and not just online businesses, to be honest, most businesses across the board. Now let's move on to more of my tangible essentials. So straight off the back, obviously you're gonna need a laptop or a computer or an iPad. I prefer a laptop because you can like move around with it and it's obviously got the typey typey. I guess with an iPad you can get that too but you need some sort of device like a laptop and everything that I just spoke about my non-tangibles you're gonna need a laptop to actually you know use those platforms as well as you know build your website answer your emails all of that sort of things. I guess you can answer your emails on your phone but I actually prefer to sit down with my laptop and like answer emails it makes me feel like I'm actually doing a job and I feel a bit more professional but that's just you know a personal thing you need a phone not that in an online business you're gonna be taking calls all too much but it's for things like taking pictures especially if you're not necessarily gonna invest in a camera off the bat when you're running your clothing brand you're gonna want to have like brand pictures so it's ideal to have a phone that takes good pictures and also for content creation so all those tiktoks you're gonna be posting you're gonna need to be able to you know record it on something and also so a phone will help you manage your day to day, especially if you're on the move. Maybe you're still working your nine to five or you're on your train to work or your train back from work. It'll be easy to just whip out your phone and reply to emails, whether those are like customer service emails or manufacturing inquiries. A phone 
will be very very useful for that sort of thing and it doesn't necessarily need to be a phone outside your personal phone so you can just use your personal phone you will probably need a printer this will come into use when you're printing out your orders i like to put a packing slip or invoice in with my orders and also you will probably need a printer to actually print out your shipping labels for when you actually want to ship your products your clothing to your customers off the back of that you're going to need some shipping labels so if you've got like one of those dymo printers you can get like the roll to print your labels on but if you're like me and you don't quite want to invest in a dymo quite as yet i actually still just use my inkjet printer so i buy like these avery adhesive a4 papers so it comes with like four stickers oh, i don't know how to explain it but it comes with four stickers and you can just pop that into your printer and print out your labels that way and that works pretty fine for me for now another business essential and this is actually like geared more towards like clothing brands in particular and that's if you want to actually start testing out your designs yourself at home so a couple of things that you might want to consider getting is a heat press machine and a vinyl cutter this will allow you to test out some of your designs or if you want to actually do your clothing yourself like customize them yourself at home having a heat press machine and a vinyl cutter is an essential this will also help you decorate packaging so i guess it's not actually specific to clothing brand owners because having a vinyl cutter will help you decorate your packaging for your brand so you're able to like cut out your label and stick that onto your packaging i actually do have a video that touches on that in a lot more detail than what i'm saying in this video so i'll make sure i have it linked up there another business essential that you will need to kind of like complete your business will be packaging so whether that be a box or a poly mailer you probably need like some stickers so say if you want to like seal some tissue paper you need some stickers or if you want to decorate your poly mailer that way you will need some stickers and tissue paper if you want to wrap your clothing in some tissue paper consider getting some tissue paper you need some thank you cards i as a customer i love a little thank you card if i order something and i feel like that's one of the things that you look forward to the most when you order from small businesses just those little touches that they put and that little bit of extra effort that they have as opposed to you know orders from some of these big big companies they don't have that little personal touch so try and include some thank you cards in your packaging another thing that you might want to consider having is an actual pos device um so card reader this will be essential say if you decide to do pop-ups and when you're starting out i feel like it's essential to do pop-ups because it's a great way to get sales and to actually meet your customers and get some feedback so um you don't want to just be accepting cash <laughs> at a pop-up so try and have a card reader i am going to have a full-on video where i talk about the card reader that i use i'm actually due to film it today but i actually forgot the physical card reader with me so i can't actually film it but i will have that video coming out very very soon so those are some of my business essentials that i wanted to cover today if you guys want a part two to business essentials i guess my part two will probably be less essential but if you want a part two then please be sure to comment that in the comments and i will look into creating a part two guys i really really hope that you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also smash that like button thank you so much for watching i'll catch you very soon bye